the ground. three-point shot. The following is a production of the Rough Rider Broadcast Team, a presentation of Watlington and Shires Productions. Net SN and Azalea Orthopedics brings you Northeast Texas Sports, the 2024 season. You know how when you go on a trip, you want your car to be as clean as it can be inside and out. That's because you're getting ready to take a journey. Well, that's what we're doing here with the pregame show, getting you ready for the Rough Rider Baseball. That's why Will Blackshear and all his staff at B3 Car Wash invite you to come by and get the car clean and invite you to enjoy the pregame show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Northeast Texas Sports Network, a partner with Azalea Orthopedics to bring you East Texas baseball. Today, it's the B3 Car Wash pregame show. The center Rough Riders, two and seven in district play, take on the district leader, Spring Hill Panthers, for an important district game for both teams, Spring Hill to try to keep the lead, Rough Riders to try to cut into it. It's the B3 pregame show coming at you next. So, Billy Don, tell us about Brookshire Brothers. Well, they got just about everything. Got good produce section, a fine meat market, and all that chicken. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the farmers is great, and the people there make it worthwhile. They always got specials if you pay attention. And that manager, he's a nice fella. And the thing is, you can shop at Brookshire's day or night. A lot more night after daylight savings. Brookshire Brothers Center. Struggling with mobility, chronic pain, work, or sports injury? At Azalea Orthopedics, our team of highly trained physicians specialize in complete orthopedic care, pain management, sports medicine, physical medicine, and rehabilitation. If you've sustained a bone or joint injury, have mobility or movement problems, struggle with pain, contact Azalea Orthopedics. We're conveniently located across East Texas, serving 18 counties. When visiting your doctor, urgent care, or hospital, you have a choice. Demand Azalea. At Azalea Orthopedics, your health is our priority. Everybody, welcome to the B3 Car Wash pregame show. It's the counselor, Stephen Shires, here. We're about 12 minutes away from the first pitch. We had senior night here. It was a nice deal. They had eight seniors from Spring Hill come out, and then they uh, called them out. Coach had a specific uh, thing that he wanted to say about them, kind of like what Coach G d does for the soccer team and then they had all the dads come out and they did a a pitch and catch with all the seniors so that was very nice so we're here live in spring hill riders lost last night in the makeup game playing in shelbyville to spring hill so they're zero and two on the season our hope clinic medical report is rough riders are all good so no issues there and riders need to come out and see if they can't play and get one from from the Spring Hill team. Obviously, they need to get a game to get caught up 
with you know to, to get past Henderson again. Of course, we have a couple coming up with Gilmer and a couple games coming up with Carthage. And uh, those are all going to be critical games for the Rough Riders as we start the stretch run here in district. Of course, the Spring Hill team is tough. They are the number one team in the district. They <clears throat> they defeated Carthage in a very close game. Like I saw something that said two to one. So. It's going to be interesting, and we get ready to play here tonight. It's a beautiful night here just outside of Longview in a bedroom community, and uh, they have just a beautiful stadium here. Got 320. You can see 375 straight away with a big fence, and then in the left field and in the right. In the left field, it's 320 to the fence. In the right field, it is 315, so a little bit shorter porch in right field. It's going to be interesting to talk to my friend Larry Pierce. He and Jason Locke did the game last night and said Riders had a inning that just got away from them. And then from then on, it was just you just can't do that with Spring Hill. You cannot make mistakes because they will make you pay. They are a good, solid baseball team. We look forward, hopefully, to a, <clears throat> a competitive game here from the center standpoint and you know maybe pull the upset. But we will see. We're going to take a quick break. First, we're talking about B3 Car Wash, which brings us our pregame show here live on NetSN. The B3 Car Wash, they're located on Hearst Street. You can go through. You can go through their automated system, or if you are do-it-yourself kind of guy, you can uh, have the stalls there. So it's a great place to go to keep your car looking good. That's B3 Car Wash, which brings us <coughs> excuse me, the pregame show. I want to hear from a couple of sponsors, and it looks like we're getting ready to go. We may actually have a first pitch a minute too early here tonight, this evening in Spring Hill. We'll be right back. Bird Forestry began with Mike Bird, East Texas's lush forests, and a dream for the future. At Bird Forestry, that future is now. As it moves into its second generation, Bird Forestry is a diverse enterprise protecting the environment while it works with industries to ensure the growth of Texas businesses and the welfare of its people. The Bird family supports the riders on the course and beyond. All right, folks, it's time for our Ray on Chevrolet keys to the game. Obviously, we got. I think we're going to have Easton Wolf on the mound again here tonight. For the key from him is to you know, come out and throw strikes, just like he did the other night against Henderson, have a strong game. And then the defense behind him has got to play error free. We've got to be able to, when we get ground balls or Get something that we can make a good throw at first, and, and you know, and get the outs, and not give them extra outs, because Spring Hill is good enough. They do not need extra outs against us. And then offensively, we've got to string together some hits and try to get some runs on the board. So that's our Ray John Chevrolet keys to the game. And again, we see here we get the Ray Jones off the screen. We see the, uh, the managers are meeting here and talking about it again. It is just a lovely evening here in Spring Hill after all the rain that we've we've had throughout East Texas Longview got as much or more than we got with this beautiful relatively new ballpark it's very nice you got turf infield and a grass outfield you can see the line of demarcation just just beyond the base passes as you as you go around so just a wonderful facility here we are Lucky and blessed <clears throat> to uh, all the facilities here in our district between ours, which is naturally built into the hill. You know, obviously, Carthage has put together a nice place. This is just, just beautiful and uh, just a terrific night for baseball. We look forward to the first pitch, which will be coming up soon. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and close out the pregame show. Again, it's brought to you by B3 Car Wash there on Hurst Street in center go by there and wash your car I man especially after all this all the pollen and all that stuff and then all, now all the mud and all the all of that the sand and all the grit on your car just go go by there and give it a good cleaning that's b3 car wash
At Hope Community Medicine, they believe that more than medicine is needed when providing quality care for their patients. With locations throughout East Texas, the vision is to give hope to those who seek a better life by caring for their body, mind, and soul, and not about their ability to pay. Through the network of staff and locations, Hope seeks to be primary provider of medical, dental, and behavioral health. Because the difference that Hope makes is the difference between night and day. Hope Community Health. Life is all about planning, and JBA Financial Services is here to help you with your financial future. Call or come by today to set up a consultation and discover what it's like to deal with the experts when it comes to investing for retirement or quality life and health insurance products. John Black, Jason Locke, and Michael Black are your experienced JBA Financial Services representatives, helping you to make the right choice for over 30 years, right here at home. JBA Financial Services, working to secure your family's future. Hello, Rough Rider fans. Tonight, it's time for a little more Rough Rider baseball as the Riders welcome the Spring Hill Panthers to town for a big district game. The Rough Riders are 2-7 and seven in district. They've beaten the Gilmer Buckeyes, and they lost a game to Henderson, but won one a week ago today. Then on Friday, a loss by one in extra innings. That puts the Rough Riders in fifth place, one game behind the Henderson Lions but the Spring Hill Panthers are the district's number one team. At eight and one, they started out the district season by beating every single one of the district teams and then a two stand game against Gilmer. Then last week, they split games with Carthage, giving them their first loss. They're one game ahead of both Carthage and Kilgore. So the Panthers are in town here at the Horseshoe. We'll see if either of the teams have lingering effects from the eclipse. We'll have you the first pitch next. Even the Dallas Morning News sees that Portacool is a company on the move. Well, in October, they moved a light year ahead with the Apex Series. These are the coolest fans yet, both with temperature and design. You're able to control them from your cell phone. Portacool, when comfort counts. Shelby Savings Bank has a bold new look, but they're still the same local bank they always were. Same people, same friendly service, but with a bold new look and new services including mobile deposits from your ATM, your computer, or your cell phone. Shelby Savings Bank, same bank, new look. Jack Callum. Yes, sir. What's something you like about TNR Steaks and More? Oh, everything that they make that is fried. Okay, give me an example. Like the fried catfish, the yeah. fried chicken, uh -huh. anything that has crust on it, I love. That and a good salad. <laughs> TNR steaks and more. For over a generation, Tomlin Insurance Stores provided life, home, ranch, and farm insurance for the people of Shelby County. What began with John Tomlin over 40 years ago is now in the hands of Matt and Mallory Snyder. People and a tradition you can trust. Tomlin Insurance Store. All right, everybody, we're coming to the final announcements of the lineups for the team. So we're going to have... Sutton's going to lead off for the Rough Riders, and then Easton Wolf. Then number 10, our first baseman, Lane. And then in the cleanup spot, it's going to be Horton. And then after that, it's going to be Atkinson, number 14, and then Bellin, and Milford, all the way down with Verdreen batting and, as a designated hitter. And then finally in the ninth spot will be Kobe Lout. We're and, and in right field. Oh, 
here we go with the we're gonna have the national anthem. So we will enjoy that here. Folks, I was trying to capture a plane flew by just like it was a flyby in the national anthem. I don't know if that was on purpose or if it was just good fortune. So as we get ready here, again, we're going to start off. The rough rush here, we see if we can get something going. Sutton Leak will be first up for the Rough Riders. Be nice if the riders can get off to a good start here with some base runners here. And we're going to face a left handed pitcher here for Spring Hill. The pitch tonight is going to be number one, Andrew Gruders. So again, we're going we're to have Caleb Mosley. That's who I was talk about to say before the national anthem started. Now, Caleb Mosley in right field, and he's not going to bat. Vadreen is going to bat. Spring Hill's going to start lead off number 13 at third base, Trent Thompson. Second's going to be Cason Wilkins in right field. Bang third is going to be Carson Tidwell, center fielder. And the cleanup spot is the first baseman, Grant Burton. Fifth, the catcher, Josiah Mackey. Batting six is the left fielder, Chandler Crawford. Number seven is Wyatt McFadden. He's going to be shortstop. Batting in the eighth spot is Andrew Gruders, the pitcher. And number nine is going to be the second baseman, Trig Fields. So Sutton Leak is going to step in here for the Rough Riders. Here's the first pitch. It's going to be high. We were right here, right behind home plate. So, I mean, we're going to have a good view of things. It's going to be a swing and a miss. Link behind that fastball. We come back here, back to the pitcher for an easy first out. Gonna bring up Easton Wolf now with one out. Easton leaves the team in most batting statistics here. It's also going to be on the mound for the Rough Riders tonight. Oh, he's going to hit one to the first to the shortstop. He's going to pick it up and make the out. 
That was well struck, but unfortunately right to the shortstop. That's two outs here. Going to bring up number 10, Jaden Lane, for the Rough Riders, our first baseman. We've seen him make some great plays out in the field. So four pitches in. A breaking ball that misses. Welcome everybody watching here this evening. Again, it's a beautiful night. There's going to be a nice pitch in for a strike. This is a fastball, but it, you can see the movement on it here, from the natural movement from a lefty. Going to even the count at one and one. That's going to be it. Should be a foul ball. And that ball moved in on the right-hander inside. Evens the count at two balls and two strikes. Got him with a strike three. And with that, folks, that's one, two, three. You ready to go to the bottom of the first? The score is zero to zero. We'll be right back. At Aurora Concepts, our team of doctors and advanced practice providers are highly trained and qualified in family medicine. We strive to provide our patients guidance towards the healthiest lifestyle possible. We offer a full spectrum of family medicine, including scheduled appointment, mobile vaccine units, sports physicals, and walk-in visits with no appointment. We accept all major insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare, and we also have the most competitive self-pay rates in the area. For highly trained expert care in East Texas, choose Aurora Concepts. Let us take care of you. Bird Forestry began with Mike Bird, East Texas's lush forests, and a dream for the future. At Bird Forestry, that future is now. As it moves into its second generation, Bird Forestry is a diverse enterprise protecting the environment while it works with industries to ensure the growth of Texas businesses and the welfare of its people. The Bird family supports the riders on the course and beyond. Covington Lumber and Building Supplies is in the capable hand of a third generation of Covingtons. For shingles for your roof, to carpet for your floors, to feral Calhoun paint for the walls, bathroom fixtures and everything in between, Covington's has it as well as all the lumber you can shake a stick at. Lumber for your home or for other fun projects. You find it all at Covington's. Everybody, welcome back. Here we go to the bottom of the first. We're going to have Easton Wolf on the mound. We saw him pitch against Henderson tonight, and he pitched a through seven innings for a no decision. And we got Trent Thompson, number 13, the leadoff hitter. Starts him off with a fastball that's fouled off. Wolf likes to move quickly. Fooled him with the curveball. Had him way out in front. It had some movement. Sometimes it's hard to tell with Easton if it's a if it's a curveball or if it's just some natural movement. Oh, he's going to come back and be low and outside. Another ball that just misses. Evens the count at two balls and two strikes. See if Easton comes back with a big hook right here to try to freeze him 
get a twice the ice strikeout. He does. And that's what happens, baby. Twice the ice. He iced the batter. It's exactly what he did right there. So he froze him with that breaking ball. So that's the first out of the inning. Number 22, Wilkins comes up. He's the right fielder. He's their uh, number two batter. He's going to come back and hit it. Oh, nice play by Milford. So Easton comes back with a ball that struck sharply, but it's right at Milford. He's able to glove it and go over and make the out. So that's two up and two down. So number six, Carson Tidwell up for Spring Hill. He's going to start him off with a fastball, and he's going to drive it down the right field line and goes out of the stadium. There we go. Nice pitch. You know, the inside corner, that's just a difficult pitch to handle for anybody, especially if they're crowding a the plate like they are. So we'll see. If... Got him. Twice the ice. Struck out number two for Easton Wolf. And that's it, folks. In nine pitches, Easton is able to retire the side with two strikeouts and a ground out in between. So we're going to go to the ball, to the top of the second. The score remains 0-0. Zero to zero. We'll be right back. Proud of East Texas, one home at a time. And Shelby Savings Bank, your local bank. It's as easy as one, two, three to see why Blake Furniture is the top furniture company in East Texas. Get the lowest prices and discover our easy in-store financing and low payment plans. Plus, get the fastest delivery in East Texas. Get your credit pre-approved online at blakefurniture.com today. Thought you'd seen the last of the Ford Bronco? Well, you were wrong. Ford brought the Bronco back so they could put the S in SUV. Comfort and connectivity for the highway to get you there. And then the power you need for your off-road adventure. Run at the front of the herd. Saddle up a Bronco at center mode. Go up and back to the top of the second. And we let off for the Rough Riders here. We're going to have Horton. So Logan's playing, playing third base tonight for the Rough Riders and in the cleanup position to see what he can do. And he's going to hit one. It's a slow rudder to shortstop. They're going to have to hurry. And they're going to say he got him. Boy, I think what, that was a bang bang play, folks. It's a slow rotor, and Horton got down the line quickly. Fielded by the shortstop, who's got a good arm. And he's able to get it over there quickly. So Atkins steps in now. He's going to take a cut and miss. So it's going to be 0-1. He's going to hit one to shortstop again. It's a tough field play, but they're going to make it. And that's two down. Again, the Riders hit the ball and make good contact. But it's just the same thing over and over again. We, we hit it, and, but we hit it to places where the fielders are. If that's a 10 more feet to the right, that may get through. So two outs here with T.J. Bellin up. So he's going to take a ball high. This here is brought to you by Sabine State Bank. 
There's a curveball that Bellin tracks, but just can't quite get his bat on it. Going to even the count at one and one. Another pitch high. Nasty fastball there from the lefty. But Billings able to foul it off. <clears throat> but it doesn't even count at two strikes and two balls. Oh, got him. So, folks, with that, the Rough Riders are done in the second. The score remains 0-0. Zero to zero. We'll be right back. Does the national financial situation confuse you? What about your own? Wayne Christian Financial Services is where you turn. Wayne has spent a career answering these questions for clients, and his daughter, Eliza Christian Furman, does the same thing now. Join Wayne Christian's team at Wayne Christian Financial. Sparky D's Bargain Store. Who are we? We're an online auction store. You'll find us on Facebook only. We're located in Center, Texas. Check us out as we have auctions going on right now. It's Sparky D's Bargain Store, an online auction store that can save you lots of money. Go check out our page, bid on items you like, and save yourself a lot of money. It's Sparky D's Bargain Store, Facebook only, located in Center. At Sparky D's Bargain Store, we'll save you more. All right, welcome back. We get ready to go to the bottom of the second. Wolf was able to strike out two in the bottom of the first. And we'll see what he can do here if he can continue on. Again, this is now eight strong innings we've seen from Wolf here the last two games. Around Burgeon, number 18. And he's going to take a strike. Grant Burton. And he's going to foul one off him. He's going to be in the hole. 0 oh 2. Wolf has got ahead of this hitter. See if he doesn't come back. What he's done a couple times here with that curveball that, that starts inside and comes back right over the zone. And he, he tries it, but it's going to miss. There he is. Yep. Burton gets just a, just a barely bit of it to stay alive. Be low and away. Evens the count at two balls and two strikes. He's going to hit it to. Oh, Bellin's able to get it, but track it down. But they cannot get over. That was hit. That's what I was saying. This is the difference between that right there and what Horton and a couple other riders have done was just a matter of a few feet. Same ball, same kind of ball hit, same velocity going out. But this ball is hit in a place to where we can't, where we filled it, but we can't make the throw. It's going to bring up the catcher. Number 14, Josiah Mackey. The runner on first. And he's going to drive one deep. The center field, and the catch is made. So that's the first out of the inning. Stepping into the box, the left fielder, number 
23, Number 23, Chandler Crawford in. Again, Spring Hill has a man on first. Let's see if, with one out, if they try to steal second. Wolf checks him out. Now he's going to throw over. Kind of a pop up. Bellin's going to come over. He's going to make the catch. That's two outs. He's going to bring up the shortstop, number nine, Wyatt McFadden. He's batting in the seventh spot. So now there's two outs. We'll see if they really try to get somebody to get moving. Oh, it's, oh, yeah, that was a nice breaking ball from Wolf. It's unbelievable that comes from a freshman. That is just, that is impressive. He's going to throw another one. This one's going to be hit right to our third baseman. Horton is going to go over and make the put out. So, folks, not quite one, two, three, but that's 19 pitches for Easton Wolf as he is able to get out of the inning. Panthers do pick up one hit. And we get ready to go to the top of the third. The game remains zero to zero. We'll be right back. Gaddy's Medical Supply. It's your one-stop shop for the supplies and the equipment that you need as you go along your recovery. Their compassionate and knowledgeable staff is there to help you as you get better. Gaddy's Medical Supply. Shelby Savings Bank has a bold new look, but they're still the same local bank they always were. Same people, same friendly service, but with a bold new look and new services including mobile deposits from your ATM, your computer, or your cell phone. Shelby Savings Bank, same bank, new look. You're in and you're out. Wright Chrysler Dodge Jeep has backed the riders. And you're in and you're out. Wright Chrysler is the place you go for the right vehicles, Jeeps, SUVs, cars, and trucks. Sales manager Jeff Baker and Chrysler and Rough Rider standout Greg Hubbard would love to set you up with the right vehicle at Wright Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. All right, leading up the third is Case Milford, and he's going to take a swing for strike one. And even up the count here. One and one. Milford up his first at bat here. He's playing second base. Lays off a high pitch. He moves ahead in the count, two and one. Oh, he's going to hit one, but it's again a slow roller to second. Going to be over to first and make the out. We'll bring up number 13 for the for the riders designated our designated hitter gage for dream up to bat here for the rough riders <coughs> excuse me folks I'm starting off with a breaking ball that Virginia's going to foul directly back Oh, there's another one. It's a hard hit. Right to the shortstop to see if he gets over. They're going to make the put up. 
Man, that's the hot corner right there. Verdreen makes great contact, but again, just right at the third baseman. You're going to bring up Kobe Lau, number nine spot, our catcher. Take one right down Broadway for a strike. Oof. He's on the outside corner. All right, he's going to drive one in. It's going to be short. Left field. Spring Hills able to make the put out. So that's it, folks. Riders go one, two, three here in the third. We'll be right back. Jack Callum. Yes, sir. What's something you like about TNR Steaks and More? Oh, everything that they make that is fried. Okay, give me an example. Like the fried catfish, the yeah. fried chicken, uh -huh. anything that has crust on it, I love. That and a good salad. <laughs> TNR steaks and more. If you're looking for land or a home in Shelby County, you go with Shelby County's real estate leader, Tammy Steptoe Realty. Judging from homes listed and homes sold, Tammy Steptoe leads the way in all of Shelby County. Check their listings on steptoerealty.com or give her or Kimberly Goodman a call. Tammy Step to Realty, where realty becomes reality. Hey, are you tired of the high cost of medical care? Tired of insurance that doesn't want to do anything for you? Don't have any insurance? I'm Sharon Nelson, a family nurse practitioner. I see patients of all ages for very low cash prices. For physicals, illnesses, labs, refills of medications, chronic disease management, male and female exams, suturing, joint injections, minor surgeries, come see me. Sharon Nelson at Nelson Family Practice, 420 Tenaha Street, across from the Dairy Queen and Center. Se hablo un poquito español. Ready, welcome back. Here we go to the bottom of the third. Score remains zero to zero. Wolf's giving up one hit, but that's it. Riders, no hits so far. Very fast game. Both pitchers work really quickly. Here we go, number one. Or the pitcher, Andrew Gruders. He's gonna be up to bat for Spring Hill to lead off the bottom of the third. Wolf's gonna start him off with a low pitch. To come back inside. Okay, so folks, you saw that on the video. So it go, it's way foul, but the ball has such amount of spin on it that it spins back fair for an easy three unassisted put out for the first out. Brings up Trigg Fields, number eight, the second baseman. Wolf's going to come right at him with a strike. Same pitch, same result. Foul down the left field. Or right down the third base line. Wolf's up 
to O2, and he's going to hit one right to Bellin. Bellin's going to field it clean. He's going to make a throw over. So two up, two down here. For unassisted put out by the first baseman with a tag off of the ball. A tremendous amount. A pool player would have appreciated the English on that ball on that. And that's going to, going to bring number 13 up. Trent Thompson. <coughs> Wolf struck Thompson out for his first twice the ice strikeout in the first. He's going to start him off with that breaking ball again, but doesn't quite break back to the plate. That's, that was the close to the pitch that he retired Trent on in the first. We'll come back another pitch here. We'll come out with just a fastball right to. There we go. Right to Horton. Horton cleans it. Or sorry, Horton fields it cleanly. He's able to make the put out. So that's it, folks. Three up, three down for Spring Hill here in the third. We'll get ready to start the fourth. We'll be right back. Covington Lumber and Building Supplies is in the capable hand of a third generation of Covingtons. For shingles for your roof, to carpet for your floors, to feral Calhoun paint for the walls, bathroom fixtures and everything in between, Covington's has it as well as all the lumber you can shake a stick at. Lumber for your home or for other fun projects. You find it all at Covington's. B3, that's the name. What does that name mean to you? B3 Oregon, dude. It's the sound of the 60s. B3 is the only thing that is before B4. It's a vitamin, good for the teeth and bones. None of the above. It's B3 Car Wash right there on Tenha Highway. You can do it yourself or you can drive through. It's B3 Car Wash. Granny B's Snow Cone Center is your... Right, folks, we'll have to catch Granny B's next. Sorry about that. Got some technical issues that I was getting straightened out in the in between, so we're going to start off Link back up to bat for the Rough Riders here as we go to the top of the fourth. And he's going to foul one out, and it's going to leave, but just barely. Again, both pitchers moving quickly here as we're already in the top of the fourth, just 30 minutes into this ball game. So kudos to both pitchers. Again, this game is brought to you by Sabine State Bank. That's Steve Waters. Go see Steve. Going to have a ball that I think was trying to be a breaking ball, but it does not move. That's going to make the count one and one. Go we'll have a cup of coffee with Steve there on Hurst Street, right in front of Brookshire's. And Going to blow one past Link for two strikes. And again, the pitcher tonight is Andrew Gruders, number one, a lefty. He's going to come back with a pitch that's going to miss the inside corner. He was trying to paint that thing. Two and two. Spring Hill's got, had one hit tonight. Riders, no hits. Oh, uh, he causes Link to chase one up high. For strike three. That's going to bring up Wolf, the pitcher. Nice stuff. Pitcher number one, Easton Wolf. Easton pounded the ball in the first, but unfortunately was right to the shortstop. Let's see if he can help himself out here and get a hit. Going to go inside. He's going to hit one into right field. It was going to come, field are going to come over and get it. It was moving quickly toward the foul line. Thought maybe for a second he may have some trouble, but the ball hangs up in the air. 
So just like that, quickly. Two outs for the Rough Riders. Can we up Jaden Lane? And he's going to give one a ride. It's in left center, but it's going to hang up. And with that, folks, that's it. The Riders go down in order again here in the top of the fourth. The score remains 0-0. Zero to zero. We'll be right back. Granny B Snow Cone Center is your source for great summer treats. It begins with quality shaved ice. And from there, you get everything from the single color snow cone to a really creative summer treat. And besides, the counselor likes it. They're also your home for Dippin' Dots. They've been supporting the Rough Riders for a mighty long time. So pull up to the window at Granny B's and let them serve you something special. Gaddy's Medical Supply is your one-stop shop for all your medical supply needs. Uh, Jack Allen, where's my ankle wrap stuff for my sore ankle? Your ankle wrap or your Kinesio wrap? Uh, the old guy wrap. Ah, the ankle wrap. It's in the top bathroom drawer. Okay, thanks. If you are recovering from an illness or an injury, Gaddy's Medical Supply can offer you the support you'll need. Jack Allen? Yeah? Where did I put the raised toilet seat? Check behind the door? Right. From crutches to canes to chairs, Gaddy's Medical is there for you. Behind which door? The hall bathroom, Dad. Okay. Okay, take care of yourself or someone you love with Gaddy's Medical Supply. What's that old State Farm slogan? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is... Serving our communities for over a century, Farmers State Bank continues to meet the financial needs of East and Central Texas. With roots that run deep, Farmers State Bank serves as a source of financial strength to meet the needs of our neighbors. From a comprehensive range of financial products to individual service, we remain dedicated to being a true community bank. Farmers State Bank, improving lives and fulfilling dreams. All right, here we go. We start the bottom of the fourth. Kaysen Wilkins comes up for Spring Hill. He's going to take a ball. Bounces one in for two balls. This is the right fielder, Kaysen Wilkins, number 22. He's going to hit a towering fly ball in the right field. And when Milford comes over and makes a great catch. So Easton, a 2-0 count, induces a fly out for the first out of the inning. Number six, the center fielder Carson Tidwell is up here for Spring Hill. Starting off with, oh, that's just a nasty strike right there. Just a low inside corner at the knees. It's virtually unhittable where the batter is standing. He's going to throw it again for two strikes. Will Easton throw it again? <laughs> <coughs> again, from where the batter is staying in the batter's box, it just be difficult to hit that pitch. He's going to throw up. Tries to throw a breaking ball. We scout one and two. Here with one out, we're already in the bottom of the fourth. No score. Spring Hill, one hit. Riders, no hits. Again, it's just a beautiful night here in Spring Hill, just outside of Longview. The weather is just perfect. Tries to paint the corner, but he just misses. Evens the count at two balls and two strikes. Oh, got him. 
Wolf's third. Twice the ice strikeout as the ice is number six for Spring Hill. Strikes is brought to you by Twice the Ice. We'll hear from them at the next commercial break. Grant Burton, number 18. Wolf starts him off with a strike. Who comes out with a ball that's low and away? Wolf's going to bounce that one in. Two and one. Oh, that was a goal. That's a nice pitch. I mean, it looks like it's going to hit the batter. Then it just at the last second breaks right over the plate. That's just nasty. Have to come out with a fastball. It's going to be hit into right center. This is going to be trouble. And he's going to get it in. Two out double here for Spring Hill. Going to bring up the catcher. <clears throat> number 14, uh, number 15, Josiah Mackey. Josiah Mackey. Mackey flied out in the second. We have a ball upstairs. Wolf comes back and challenge him with a just straight up fastball. There's that pitch again. Man, that is fun to see, especially down here. One and two. Let's see if he comes back with it one more time. He's going to throw one in. Just bounces back. He's up two and two. Now the runner is going to take third off that wild pitch. Pitch outside. Makes the count three and two. So full count here with a payoff pitch coming with a runner at third, but two outs. Easton comes with the curveball again. Mackey's looking for it, and he's able to foul it off. So we're going to do that. Do it again. Three and two here. Critical. His runs appear to be in a premium here this evening. Oh. There's going to be a pass ball. So with two outs and two strikes, we have a double. At first base, courtesy running for the catcher, number 11, D.K. Johnson. Now batting. Your left fielder, number 23, Chandler Crawford. So now it's 1 0. We got a runner on first. A ball inside, we're going to throw back.
All right, so a pop-up. The catcher doesn't see it. He drops it, but Wolf is able to pick it up and throw the runner out at first. So with that, folks, the Spring Hill is able to pick up a run. So they have one run on two hits. And we're going to go to the, to the top of the fifth. Riders down 1-0. You know that Ace Hardware of East Texas is all the hardware you need, but there's a lot of other things they have too. Fun things for your camping trips. Fun things to wear when you go outside. For the 4th of July barbecue, to the housewarming in the fall, to your Christmas shopping and clothes for all year long, it's Ace Hardware, the helpful place of East Texas. Struggling with mobility, chronic pain, work, or sports injury? At Azalea Orthopedics, our team of highly trained physicians specialize in complete orthopedic care, pain management, sports medicine, physical medicine, and rehabilitation. If you've sustained a bone or joint injury, have mobility or movement problems, struggle with pain, contact Azalea Orthopedics. We're conveniently located across East Texas, serving 18 counties. When visiting your doctor, urgent care, or hospital, you have a choice. Demand Azalea. At Azalea Orthopedics, your health is our priority. So what do you get with Sabine State Bank? Well, Steve Waters and his staff, they know you. They know you by name. And they celebrate the successes when they finance your dreams. But Sabine State Bank is also a fully modern bank with 24-hour online access to your accounts and services ranging from teller services to some of banking's more complicated things. Looking for a place to grow? It's Sabine State Bank. All right, so Horton's up. They lead him off with a strike. Gonna pop foul, it's gonna get out. So Wharton in the hole, 0 and 2. Oh, Horton's gonna yank that one. Is it gonna be right? Oh, it's right at the wall. Thought that one might have a chance. If it had a little bit of wind blowing out, that one would have been gone. But as it is, it's a long out. Next up, center fielder, number 14, Cody Atkinson. It's coming up Atkinson here. He's going to swing through the first pitch. Get a little taste of our own medicine there with uh, Gruders is able to find the inside corner. Gonna you know, foul it off. So our count remains 0 and 2 here on Atkinson. One out in the top of the fifth. Spring Hill able to push a one run across in the last half inning off a two out, two strike double and then a pass ball and a wild pitch oh there we go oh that's in the hole that's on the down the line so Atkinson's going to get on and he's going to dig for two and he's going to make it in two strike hit by Atkinson as he's a, hits a screamer down the third baseline Shortstop, number two, TJ Bellin. Going to bring up Bellin here. Again, with one out. With Atkinson on second. Oh, now I guess Henderson in this spot. TJ was able to deliver with a double. And drove in a run. See if he can do the same thing here tonight. Going to start him off with a pitch that's high and outside. Go 
Looks like they're gonna come high. Oh, right down the right down the pipe. Belling cannot catch up with it. It's gonna even the count at one strike and one ball. Atkinson not being held. Oh, there we go. He's going to stroke a curveball, and with Moore's going to wave in Atkinson. He is just so fast, and Bellin's going to go to second. So Bellin does it again, folks, as he is able to drive in a run. He got that curveball, got just enough of it, and got it over the head. <coughs> of the shortstop, once again, the Riders finally able to hit the ball in a place where there's no defender, which is, they've been making contact all year. It's good to see maybe the ball start falling when, there's, when they're supposed to for the Rough Riders. So that's going to even the game up at one to one. Milford, he's going to take a swing through for strike one. Bellin with an RBI double. Turns into a double because when they tried to throw the home plate, Bellin was able to get the second. Oh, we're going to try a bunt. And Milford gets it down. It's perfect. Are they going to be able to get it to first? A very close clay play at first. Bang, bang. They're going to call him out at first, but it does send Bellin over to third. Well done by Milford. That almost... Caught them off guard. So, coming up Verdreen with a runner on third. Again, this is where you win baseball games with two out hits. Let's see if Verdreen can, can do it. And he's going to swing through the first pitch. We see Bellin on third with a small lead. Pitches high and outside. Won't be too much to ask for a pass ball here or a wild pitch if you're a Ryder fan. Oh, it comes in nice pitch from Gruders. So can we get the count one and two? Oh, it's gonna get him on strike three. So the riders are able to even the score up, makes it one to one as we go to the bottom of the fifth. We'll be right back. You're watching Rough Rider Baseball on Net SN. After four and a half, we're tied 1 1. So, Billy Don, tell us about Brookshire Brothers. Well, they got just about everything. Got a good produce section, a fine meat market, and all that chicken. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the farmers is great, and the people there make it worthwhile. They always got specials if you pay attention. And that manager, he's a nice fella. And the thing is, you can shop at Brookshire's day or night. A lot more night after daylight savings. Brookshire Brothers Center. Will Blackshirt knows a thing or two about baseball and softball. He's an old Rough Rider baseball player himself, so he understands that numbers are important. How about this for numbers? A 16-pound bag of ice for $1.75 or a 20-pound bag dumped right into your cooler. 25 cents gets you a gallon of filtered water. 75 cents, five gallons. How about that? Twice the ice. You're in and you're out. Wright Chrysler Dodge Jeep has backed the riders. And you're in and you're out. Wright Chrysler is the place you go for the right vehicles, Jeeps, SUVs, cars, and trucks. Sales manager Jeff Baker and Chrysler and Rough Rider standout Greg Hubbard would love to set you up with the right vehicle at Wright Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram.
Hey, are you tired of the high cost of medical care? Tired of insurance that doesn't want to do anything for you? Don't have any insurance? I'm Sharon Nelson, a family nurse practitioner. I see patients of all ages for very low cash prices. For physicals, illnesses, labs, refills of medications, chronic disease management, male and female exams, suturing, joint injections, minor surgeries, come see me. Sharon Nelson right, folks, at the Nelson Family the Practice, 420 Tenaha Street. Riders are able to Madeira even this Queen puppy up here. Se hablo un poquito espanol going to pop up the center field to see if Milford is going to go out and get it for the first out. So we're in the bottom of the fifth. Score is one to one. Going to bring up Andrew Greeters, the pitcher. In the eighth spot, Will's going to start him off low and inside for a ball. Ooh, just misses. We three and oh now. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice curveball. That curveball has been working again tonight for Wolf. We learned in the Schaffner post game show against Henderson that Wolf gets the curveball from his mother. So now, full count. Looks like he's going to come back with it again. Got him. Iced him. Twice the ice strikeout. Number four for Wolf on the evening. Just a nasty pitch. He was working the inside part of the plate extremely well this evening. Going to bring up the ninth hole hitter, Trig Fields, the second baseman. And Wolf's going to bounce that one in for the first pitch to be a ball. Cut moves to 2 and 0. Oh. Oh, that's a nice pitch. That is working that inside part of the plate is just <clears throat> with the with the Spring Hill batters there all. Th this batter is not quite as crowded in plate as some of them, but it's just almost an impossible pitch. And there's that curveball. Wolf's going to even the count at two balls and two strikes here. Got him. Twice the ice. Number five for Wolf. They get out of the inning. One, two, three. Let's get ready to stretch here as we're going to go to the sixth inning. Riders and Springfield Panthers tied at one. At Aurora Concepts, our team of doctors and advanced practice providers are highly trained and qualified in family medicine. We strive to provide our patients guidance towards the healthiest lifestyle possible. 
We offer a full spectrum of family medicine, including scheduled appointment, mobile vaccine units, sports physicals, and walk-in visits with no appointment. We accept all major insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare, and we also have the most competitive self-pay rates in the area. For highly trained expert care in East Texas, choose Aurora Concepts. Let us take care of you. All right, folks, here we go. Kobe Lout in, and he's going to take ball one. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Oh, that's a nice pitch inside. Wolf's been getting that all night, and so does Gruder's. Got a change. We got a new second baseman for Spring Hill. Lout's going to foul that off with a chop check swing. Going to make the count one and two here. Oh, he induces Lout into swinging at a pitch way out of the strike zone. But it's going to lead to the first out of the inning. Going to bring up the top of the lineup again. It's going to bring up Sutton Leak. Another one of our fabulous freshmen playing. It's going to be a little high. Link 0 for, 0 for 2 this evening. Foul tip that ball off. Pitch high and outside from Gruder. If Link can be patient here. Link behind on that one. That was in the glove by the time he started to swing. Oh, nice pitch by Gruders. Two up, two down by strikeout. That's going to bring up number one, Easton Wolf. See what Easton can do. Two outs here in six. Oh, there's that nasty curveball from Gruders that says, if you can do it, I can do it too. Come back with a fastball. Wolf's going to sky it. Oh, they drop it. And Easton's in at second. That was a problem. The ball was hit high, but it was slicing hard, and it, the, the center fielder called it. But then he let the right fielder have it at the last second, and it was just slicing so bad that the right fielder cannot get to it. Meanwhile, Easton hustling does not stop at first, and he's going to get the second with two outs. Brings up number 10, our first baseman, Jaden Lane. And we're going to have a timeout called by Spring Hill to, to come out and talk a little strategy. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Rough Rider football is brought to you in part by McAdams Propane Company. Gas up your engines with McAdams. Joe's Car Spa. With Joe's, clean is easy. Yard Birds, the finest barbecue right at the city limit sign on Tenaha Highway. And Sandy Cox State Farm. Like a good neighbor, Sandy Cox is there on Tenaha Street. All right, here we go, folks. 
for some reason, you saw our football game sponsors. I'm not sure why they were loaded on there at this particular time, but I'd like to thank those sponsors that uh, bring you Rough Rider football. And uh, folks, even you fo those folks like to bring Rough Rider baseball, give Chris Wallington a call. All right, so here we go. Spring has got their signals, got their strategy straight, and here we go with our first baseman up to bat. Let's see if he can drive a run home. It's going to be ball up high. Game's getting interesting. Another of our freshmen that's playing. Oh, there he was. Oh. That was it. He just swung slightly under it. I think that was the pitch we were looking for right there. So we're going to have another substitution. That's number 10 for Spring Hill comes in. Let's see if we can get it. Caden. Caden Rhodes in at left field now for Spring Hill. So Jaden Lane up for the Rough Riders. <clears throat> A base hit here could put the Rough Riders in the lead. Oof. One and two now. There we go. Nice pitch to swing it. It's right to first baseman, though, and they're going to come over and make the out. But nice defensive swing by Lane because that was a nasty pitch. But with that, folks, the rider threat is averted. The score remains one to one as we go to the bottom of the sixth. We'll hear from a couple sponsors and we'll be right back. So Billy Don, tell us about Brookshire Brothers. Well, they got just about everything. Got good produce section, a fine meat market, and all that chicken. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the farmers is great and the people there make it worthwhile. They always got specials if you pay attention. That manager, he's a nice fella. And the thing is, you can shop at Brookshire's day or night. A lot more night after daylight savings. Brookshire Brothers Center. Bird Forestry began with Mike Bird, East Texas's lush forests, and a dream for the future. At Bird Forestry, that future is now. As it moves into its second generation, Bird Forestry is a diverse enterprise protecting the environment while it works with industries to ensure the growth of Texas businesses and the welfare of its people. The Bird family supports the riders on the course and beyond. Matthews Realty, going above and beyond is what's expected. This is agency owner Colin Matthews. Our team of seasoned real estate professionals believe in giving their clients an advantage in any real estate transaction. Matthews Realty has a reputation of highly personalized service. Matter of fact, it's our number one priority. From commercial and residential properties, poultry farms to beach rentals, our team works hard so you don't have to. Call Matthews Realty at 598-7800 or visit MatthewsRealty.com. All right, number 13, Trent Thompson leads off the sixth. And Easton begins him with a fastball that he can't catch up to for strike one. Going to foul off. So Easton's got him in the hole. Oh, and two. A couple pitches to play with here. Will Easton do that or will he come back with the, with the big hook and try to ice this? This batter comes back with a fastball that's going to miss. I think Sabine State Bank, which is bringing us this presentation, there's the hook. Trent gets just enough of it to stay alive. 
So again, Steve Waters at Sabine State Bank. They're out there on Hurst Street right in front of Brookshire. So go by and see Steve, have a cup of coffee with him. With him. And if you need a new car, new boat, new side-by-side, -side, go see Steve. If you want to get a bigger house, a bigger, better house, just go see him. He's He will work with you. All right, going to foul that off. Count remains one and two. Thompson seeing a couple pitches here from Wolf. That was going to bounce in for the second ball. Nice pitch for Wolf. And ouch. Going to go off the umpire. Oh, that had to hurt. There wasn't a pad there. Looks like that got him right on the hand. Kobe Lout, in the time honor tradition, is going to go out and talk to the uh, pitcher to give the umpire a little time to shake that off. Man, that had to hurt because that was right on his knuckles, I think. Tough guy back there. So here we go, two and two now. We're going to have a timeout. Oh, hits him. Ball just didn't quite break like it's supposed to. So, so just tune in, folks. It's one to one. We're in the bottom of the sixth. Both pitchers have just pitched a gem of a ball game here. Wolf's given up two hits. Throw over to first. <coughs> We're gonna bring up number 22, Kaysen Wilkins. The right fielder in the two spot. Go fight, do a bunt. Ball gets away from Atkinson. Going to be a. Oh, got ahead. Step. Oh, there we go. There's no runner on first. Run, just a runner on. Second, there we go. After the pass ball, they're going to try to bunt again. He gets it down. Oh, it's perfect. Easton's able to make the play. But bad news for the Rough Riders. As Spring Hill now has a runner on third with only one out. And number six, the three-hole hitter, Carson Tidwell, steps in. Man, this is a huge moment here in this ballgame. Pitch is going to miss just slightly. Again, Wolf needs a strikeout or a comebacker or something. And we're going to have a timeout, and we're going to talk a little strategy here to figure out what, what we're going to do. Because he can do any number of things. This is where I wish I had Mr. Locke to talk to you about it. You could try a safety squeeze butt here. No reason to try suicide squeeze butt with only one out. Riders have to be playing in. But Wolf is at 72 pitches here in the bottom of the sixth. So good shape in the pitch count. Spring Hill with a runner on third, one out, the number three hole hitter at the plate. And he's gonna drive one in the gap. That's gonna score easy. 
and lead to a double. So that makes the score two to one. Nice pitch by Wolf. Still only one out here. Ball low and outside. <clears throat> Tough pitch to lay off of. He does. He makes the count two and one. Here in the bottom of six. Spring Hill is able to push one across to take the lead. Nice pitch by Wolf. Fools. The batter brings the count to two and two. And this is number 18, Grant Burton, the cleanup hitter. He's going to come out with a curveball. He's just going to miss on the outside. Bring the count to full. Ball four. Gonna bring up the number five hitter with runners on first and second now. Josiah Mackey. Up with two outs. I'm sorry, with one out <coughs> with runners on first and second. Easton still battling. Oh. So hit by pitch. Bases are now loaded, full of Panthers. Still only one out. And we got Caden Rhodes, who has substituted in. This is his first at bat. So Ryder talking about it, two hits, bat, batsman. Look, like the Ryder's gonna make a pitch and change, so we'll take a break. We'll be right back. If you're looking for land or a home in Shelby County, you go with Shelby County's real estate leader, Tammy Steptoe Realty. Judging from homes listed and homes sold, Tammy Steptoe leads the way in all of Shelby County. Check their listings on steptoerealty.com or give her or Kimberly Goodman a call. Tammy Steptoe Realty, where realty becomes reality. So what do you get with Sabine State Bank? 
know, Steve Waters and his staff, they know you. They know you by name. And they celebrate the successes when they finance your dreams. But Sabine State Bank is also a fully modern bank with 24-hour online access to your accounts and services ranging from teller services to some of banking's more complicated things. Looking for a place to grow? It's Sabine State Bank. Jack Callum. Yes, sir. What's something you like about TNR Steaks and More? Oh, everything that they make that is fried. <laughs> okay, give me an example. Like the fried catfish, the yeah. fried chicken, uh-huh. anything that has crust on it, I love. That and a good salad. <laughs> TNR Steaks and More. <laughs> Granny B Snow Cone Center is your source for great summer treats. It begins with quality shaved ice, and from there you get everything from the single colored snow cone to a really creative summer treat. And besides, the counselor likes it. They're also your home for Dippin' Dots. They've been supporting the Rough Riders for a mighty long time. So pull up to the window at Granny B's and let them serve you something special. Father? For lunch today, I would like a salad. Father, for lunch, I'd like one of those American oh, no, cheeseburgers. Ice I'm a cheese a cheeseburger. Mm. That's what okay. I need. Oh, it's ice cream. cream. Oh, when everyone in your family thinks they're royalty, take them someplace where they can all get something good. Dairy Queen. All right, mate. welcome back. Here we go. Bases are loaded. We've made a change. We've got Wolf. Now, at third Horton moves to shortstop and TJ Bellin goes to the mound to try to get us out of this inning bases loaded two runs across Bellin starts off with a strike Real sque- uh, suicide squeeze tried there. But the batter unable to get the butt down. Third base runner broke from home, number 18, Burton. if Bellin can get this last strike. Awful close, but called a ball. You can hear the bases loaded, one out. Ball high, makes the count two and two. going to be low. Brings the count full. Three and two. Ball four. And it's going to walk in the Another run for Spring Hill makes it four to one. (coughs) Number 21, Jason Jordan Jordan is going to pitch hit for Gruders. Still the same situation. So the score now is four to one. Bases are loaded, one out. Ball's gonna get past. Good job, boys. 
Lout to make it 5-1. Thought maybe this prior glove might have, the webbing might have broken. So we're in the same, again, same position. So one ball, no strikes to a pitch hitter, number 21, Jason Jordan. And there's a strike. Left-handed batter here. Ball's going to be a bit outside. Two and one. Hey, wait for yours, buddy. Let's go. So three and one here. Bell steps off the rubber. He's going to reset. You know, so pick off to second. Call strike two. So five one here, runners on second and third, full count. Gonna call ball four. Gonna load the bases back up again. Number 19 in the bat, Mason Barnes. Gonna foul that one off. Oh, another suicide bunt. It's going to work. We're going to get the out at first, and they're going to score another run. So two outs now here. Six to one. Spring was able to get five runs across in the this inning. Now have a six to one lead with a kind of a cushion, but they now they still have runners on second and third. So first base is open. Oh, another pass ball here going to lead to another run. Makes it seven to one. Count's going to be 1 and 0 at the plate. Looks like the runner on third is coming out. They're going to bring in a pitch runner in. Number seven.
Brian Seal. He's going to come in and run at third base. Some discussion at home plate about about it all. And here we go. Spring Hill is able to put six runs across here in this inning to go up seven to one. Nice pitch by Bellin. Two and one. Another pitch high. Three and one. Swings through the pitch, makes it full, three and two. See if Bellin can <clears throat> get a strikeout here or induce some sort of out in the field. Get over to it's Wolf. I guess that shortstop, not at third. So Wolf makes the play. That's going to end the inning. So. Seven to one here as we go to the top of the seventh. We'll be right back. It's as easy as one, two, three to see why Blake Furniture is the top furniture company in East Texas. Get the lowest prices and discover our easy in-store financing and low payment plans. Plus, get the fastest delivery in East Texas. Get your credit pre-approved online at blakefurniture.com today. Covington Lumber and Building Supplies is in the capable hand of a third generation of Covingtons. For shingles for your roof, to carpet for your floors, to feral Calhoun paint for the walls, bathroom fixtures and everything in between, Covington's has it as well as all the lumber you can shake a stick at. Lumber for your home or for other fun projects. You find it all at Covington's. What do you do when the world gets a little blurry? When the eyes aren't exactly doing what they once did? You need a little focus. In Center, Texas, that focus is on the center square right next to the Rio, the beautiful and historic offices of Dr. Charles Collard. If it's frames or contacts you're looking for, or if it's a more serious problem, Dr. Collard can help you. Dr. Charles Collard in Center. So what do you get with Sabine State Bank? Steve Waters and his staff, they know you. They know you by name, and they celebrate the successes when they finance your dreams. But Sabine State Bank is also a fully modern bank with 24-hour online access to your accounts and services ranging from teller services to some of banking's more complicated things. Looking for a place to grow? It's Sabine State Bank. So Horton's going to lead off the, top, the rider's last gasp. He's going to start it with a ball. And Horton's going to hit one. That's down the line, and that's into left field. So Horton's going to start off with a stand-up double. Coming up, Atkinson, who doubled last time he was at bat, and scored the rough out of the run. So let's see if Atkinson can do it again. Ryder's going to need quite a rally here. Spring Hill is able to get six across the plate. And there we go. That's going to hit. That's a drop in for a base hit. And they're going to hold Horton up at third. So Atkinson, two for three this evening. Let's see if Bellin can do it again. Looks like Spring Hill is going to 
take a second to talk about things. Well, to do that, we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. This is a Net SN presentation of a Watlington Shires Pierce production. Have you sustained a bone, joint, work, or sports injury? Problems with mobility or movement? Suffer with pain? Contact Azalea Orthopedics. Our specialists serve patients across East Texas for proven, trusted medical care. You have a choice. Demand Azalea. Bird Forestry began with Mike Bird, East Texas's lush forests, and a dream for the future. At Bird Forestry, that future is now. As it moves into its second generation, Bird Forestry is a diverse enterprise protecting the environment while it works with industries to ensure the growth of Texas businesses and the welfare of its people. The Bird family supports the riders on the course and beyond. All right, so we got TJ Bellin. He drove in our run. See if he can continue this rally. And it's going to. Gonna hit a comebacker. Back to the mound. Gonna get the draw the first out of the inning. <coughs> Excuse me, that leaves a man on second as, as we're able to get the run home. Break it seventy two. So now at the play, second baseman number three, Case Milford. It's gonna bring up Milford number three with runner on second. Mackinson over there, see he's got some speed. Nice curveball in for strike. One strike here on Milford. Runner on second. Riders trail seven to two. Another curveball in there for a strike. <coughs> oh, and two count here. Comes back with another one. Milford's going to get just enough of it. All right, 0-2 still. Milford got just enough of that curveball last time to stay alive. Runner on second. Riders need to be patient. String together several more. Oh, and he's going to strike him out. So that's two outs. For Dream. Rogers down their last out here. Trail by five with a runner on second. Dream swings through a high fastball. Lays off that one. Evens the count at one and one. Oh, nice breaking ball again. Brewers, nice breaking ball there. One and two. 
two outs, runner on second. And that do it, folks. Riders are going to fall seven to two here in Spring Hill. What a ball game. Except for one half inning, this thing was nip and tuck. But as it was, Riders will fall seven to two. Let's hear from the sign shop, which always ushers in the post game show, and we'll do that. We'll be right back. If you're looking for land or a home in Shelby County, you go with Shelby County's real estate leader, Tammy Steptoe Realty. Judging from homes listed and homes sold, Tammy Steptoe leads the way in all of Shelby County. Check their listings on steptoerealty.com or give her or Kimberly Goodman a call. Tammy Steptoe Realty, where realty becomes reality. What is the best way to communicate to the people that you want to communicate to? You put a sign in the sign shop, Center, Texas. Cafeteria has been right there since his grandfather opened it two generations ago. But you know what's great about Schaffner's Washateria? It's modern. It's kept up with the times. Whatever your needs, large or small, Schaffner's is ready. Owner Will Blackshire says, enjoy the post-game show. All right, folks, welcome back to the Schaffner Washateria postgame show. We'll start off the set with a segment about something to smile about. And, again, I think it's going to be the strong performance by Easton Wolf for what, five and a half innings and, uh, you know, into the sixth. And then he just lost a bit of control, and then things just kind of got out of hand. But, again, once again, strong, strong innings. And the riders, again, are probably starting to hit the ball a little bit. And so, very happy to see that. So, again, it is the best team in the district, and the Riders played an extremely competitive game up until the bottom of the six, for, for crying out loud. We just didn't quite get that one done and put together. So, that's something to smile about. Again, it just all these games, it's, a, it's almost a smile and a, and a frown because, because it just feels like we're so close to being so good, and we have these little things that happen that just don't go our way. So... That's something to smile about by Wyndham Family Dental. We'll see if we can't hear from them. If we got it pulled up, we'll see if we can right now. All right, so that's Wyndham Family Dental. They're located at 406 Cora Street in Center. Go see Clayton Paul Wyndham because that's where I go. They're awesome. So that's Wyndham Family Dental. Now let's talk about our, our, our center mode company player of the game. We could pick Easton Wolf. <clears throat> I don't know if we're going to talk to the fellows tonight, but we could pick Easton Wolf. But I also want to mention Atkinson with two big hits. <coughs> Excuse me. Bellin with two big hits, both of which I mean drove, uh, drove in runs. Bellin drove in both our runs this evening, along with, again, Atkinson. You know, getting it started and, and having two hits and and uh, scoring a run tonight. But I think at the end of the day, it's going to go to Easton Wolf again for, you know, five and a half really strong innings of pitching that kept the Riders in it. So that is our player of the game. We're here from Center Motor Company, and we'll be right back. Thought you'd seen the last of the Ford Bronco. Well, you were wrong. Ford brought the Bronco back so they could put the S in SUV. Comfort and connectivity for the highway to get you there. And then the power you need for your off-road adventure. Run at the front of the herd. Saddle up a Bronco at Center Motor Company.
Life is all about planning, and JBA Financial Services is here to help you with your financial future. Call or come by today to set up a consultation and discover what it's like to deal with the experts when it comes to investing for retirement or quality life and health insurance products. John Black, Jason Locke, and Michael Black are your experienced JBA Financial Services representatives, helping you to make the right choice for over 30 years, right here at home. JBA Financial Services, working to secure your family's future. The following is a true story from Count Dracula about Schaffner's Washateria. So I was home alone minding my own business when my wife was out of town. Suddenly, from nowhere, a minivan full of ghosts barge to the front door without opening it. They go to the bedroom and steal all my sheets and wear them around the house. Then suddenly they threw them on the floor and got back in the minivan. I have to get my sheets clean before my wife gets home. How do I do it? Schaffner's Washateria. Serving vampires and Shelby Countyans for three generations, the Dracula family uses Schaffner's. <laughs> Schaffner's Washateria, Center, Texas. All right, folks, welcome back to the Schaffner Washateria post game show. Kind of the final segment here, our Center Motor Company player game. I ultimately decided on Easton Wolf with honorable mentions to TJ Bellin and to Atkinson. Uh, of course, our coach talk. We probably won't get coach this evening since I'm the only one. I, I'm sure I don't know if they know exactly where we are, but it's brought to you by JBA Financial. We heard from them. Of course, when the family dental brings us our something to smile about. I'd like to thank Schaffner Washateria for bringing us this post game show. Again, riders lose tonight six or seven to two but this this ball game was close it was one to one going into the bottom of the sixth matter of fact the riders uh tied it up at one to one and had a runner on third with a chance to try to even take the lead in this game and went, were unable to do so so the riders are going to are going to lose this district game seven to two but again you got to feel both like we've talked about with coach in the past, you feel good about how well we play at times and just and, and then frustrated a little bit that we're unable to to uh, try to get coach's attention, see if he wanted to come down and speak to me. And I can't quite get his attention. So anyway, again, at the end of the day, this is a rough hour team that is young. They, they have a lot of fight, uh, and you know, just one half inning of, of misfortune was the difference here this evening in what could have been a game that could have gone into extra innings. But in any event, that I do it with uh, Spring Hill, where we got Carthage and we've got Gilmer, both of those series left, both of those games are games that the Rough Riders could very well win the majority of and, and, and need to for the purposes of, of trying to get into the playoffs as they are hanging right there to us and Henderson vying for that final fourth spot. So this is the counselor Stephen Shire saying thank you for all of our from all of our sponsors. Thank you for all the folks that have that have tuned in. Thanks to Chris Wallington that's prepared some of our stuff. He is down in in Aggie Land celebrating things with with his son Jack Allen, so hope you're having fun down there. And whatever gigum means, I hope you're you're doing it and doing a bunch of it. I'd like to thank Larry Pierce. I know he did a game here, uh, in the game of the week, East Texas, some softball and some baseball this evening. He covered this game between Spring Hill last night. Thanks to him and thanks to our partners at Net SN. Again, the Rough Riders lose a heartbreaker. It ended up being seven to two, but it was. One to one going in <coughs> into the bottom of the sixth. Look forward to uh, the ga the games coming up. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the counselor Stephen Shires saying, "Whatever you do that next week, we hope that it's nothing but net." You know what's nice about living in a small town like Center? Long-standing tradition, like Schaffner's Washateria. Owner Will Blackshire is proud of the fact that the Washateria has been right there since his grandfather opened it two generations ago. But you know what's great about Schaffner's Washateria? It's modern. 
It's kept up with the times. Whatever your needs, large or small, Shoppner's is ready. On behalf of Will Blackshear and Shoppner's Wasateria, we say thank you for listening to the Post Game Show. This has been a presentation of the Rough Rider Broadcast Team, brought to you by Watlington and Shires Productions.